Hi everyone, so this is an updated version, well it's an updated video, it's not an updated version in the back. So it's 2024, I recorded this in 2021, and there was an error, two errors in the first two videos. So I'm re-recording now, uh, but it's good to know people spotted it in the previous three years. <laughs> right, so the first bit is a quick matchup. So we've got uh, x squared x cubed, 1 over x squared, my favourite, uh, y equals x, 1 over x, and the positive square root of x, I think that's everything there, Matt, isn't it? Uh, you got some sketching if you want to do it. So that's the first page done. So let's have a look at our transformations then. So the first bit, just has got a box with the translations. So left and up and down and left and right. So that's kind of going up, it's a plus, that's going down. The plus means that it goes to the left, it goes the opposite, and the minus means that it goes to the right, and that's where I've made the mistake in the videos. So you've got to think opposite when it's inside the video, inside the brackets. I'll say that to you all the time and then I'll still make a mistake. So there you go. Right, so I've got x squared plus 2x. It's got the vertex of minus 1, minus 1. So we're going to graph it and see what actually happens to the vertex as we go. So if you look at the first example, it's got a plus 2 on it. So that looks like this top one up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding two to it. So it's moving up two, but I can't say moving up two. I'm going to say translation zero two. So the vertex is going to go from minus one, minus one, up. Dodge your picture. I'm sure yours will be better. Up to minus one plus one. There. There's a question for you whether it's a translation moving it down through. So it should go to what is that like? minus one, minus four on the question for you. Right, next one. So it's a minus one, so you think it's going left, but it's actually going right. If it's inside the bracket, you do the opposite. So that's a translation, so it's going right by one, and that's where I made a mistake last time. I put a minus one there, my mistake. So it takes the bottom of it and moves it right, so the vertex, instead of being minus one, minus one, will now be zero, minus one. And there's one there to see, so you think it's going right, but it's actually going left. So there's a translation minus 3, so it's going left by 3, so the vertex has moved to the left 3. That's not me done. Right then, next. So this one's doing 2 in 1, so it goes, uh, where's it go, where's it go? So it goes C plus 1, so you think it's right, but it's going left. And then the minus 2 is going down. So it's going left and it's going down. I can't write that. So it goes left 1, down 2. So it's transformed the vertex becomes minus 2, minus 3. Because it was at minus 1, minus 1, if you remember. 1 for you. So it goes right 1 and up 2. So right one up two, up three, sorry. So the vertex goes to naught. There. Okay. So this time, g of x is one over x. So one over x looks a better drawn version of that, where the axes are straight. And it has asymptotes at both axes, it doesn't touch the axes. So plus 2 means I move it up by 2. So originally, there was an asymptote at y is 0. 
the graph didn't happen. So now, because it's gone up two, because I've got a translation zero two, that asymptote has now moved up to two. Like that. So I've got the asymptote at, oops, at y is two. I still have like an asymptote here, which is at x is zero. So it ceases to exist. So the minus three, you think it's going left, but it's actually going right. So it goes three to the right. So the asymptote at x is zero is now moved to x is three. So you can see, so I've moved everything over by three units there. Okay, so next page. Oh, do you know what? I think that's it for what I needed to record. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye bye.